This ain't my business, but I just know about it. <laughs> so let me ask you this. Did they do that, like, North versus South thing down there? Well, yeah, they, that's, they just had a murder last week behind North versus South. Mm. The murder that just happened. And, mm. and, you know, I ain't supposed to say a lot, but, mm. you know, those are, those are, are variables that, that ain't going to go away. And so it's like the little brothers that's out there killing one another and don't want to be around one another because you from this here or you from that. When you go to Angola, man, that's who's going to have to have your back. Yeah. Because as much as the dudes from New Orleans got the same mentality while they're on the street, I'm from the third water, from the 17, I'm from this here, or they from different gangs also, and they beefing. But when they yeah. come to prison, let them get into it with you. I love them coming out. So can you kind of speak more to, to that dynamic in jail for as North versus South? Like, like. All right, North versus South is the the mentality in, in prison is like this. A lot of dudes from New Orleans be on some. Rig. I, I tell you, we run this because there's more dudes from New Orleans than any other city in the jail, and then. The dudes from Baton Rouge be on some. See, it's like street for is outcast. And they like, we ain't really a part of street, or uh, uh, really a part of Louisiana. Even though they know we are. But it's like, man, y'all so full up there. Boom. So it's like New Orleans be like, they gonna, they gonna, they gonna click up. Baton Rouge definitely gonna click up. See, New Orleans, New Orleans is so loose, sometimes they wouldn't even much click up. But you ain't finna never not see Baton Rouge click up. Baton Rouge ass gonna ride on you. So if you get into it with a dude from Baton Rouge, know that his homeboy is coming. Now some dudes from New Orleans know that their homeboy is coming. So dudes from Shreveport, certain people know that their homeboy is coming. You know what I'm saying? Or see Shreveport a ride like this. Shreveport, Monroe, yeah, all the way to Alexandria. So that's the three one eight. Alexandria is the middle of the state. And everything coming up north, they arrive together. In New Orleans, occasionally they arrive with Baton Rouge if they get into it. But most times they don't have to ride with you because there's so many of them. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Yeah, it, it, it's so many of them. But now Shreveport got a lot. It's a lot of dudes from Shreveport down there now. Yeah, man, damn near the whole Lakeside and down the bottom down there. You ain't Cedar Grove, Cooper Road. You ain't see that was mad at Rob 49 because he was saying uh, the Baton Rouge niggas in New Orleans niggas different. He say Baton Rouge niggas, they quick to crash. Yeah. I, 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 I mean, I ain't see that, that video. And they, they, they mad I, I, at him I about DJ, it. But is he the lying? DJ do. How, how you... Uh, he just said there's more niggas from New Orleans and other anything. So how they quick to crash? It seems like they getting away with it after they crash because there's more of y'all locked up than them. Yeah, see, it be... See, they'll see it differently. Yeah. See, like they say in history, the one that win the war writes, yeah, writes history. Yeah. yeah. So it'd be like, it could be a dude from New Orleans, and he could be, he could be a rat. But dudes from New Orleans gonna ain't gonna talk about that. Cause that's their own war. But let you be a rat, you from here is going around the prison. Oh, that rat. Dudes from Baton Rouge to do the same thing. So it makes dudes from Shreveport have to do the same thing too. As opposed to dudes from Shreveport used to be like, man, I ain't messing with that old rat ass dude. I don't give a damn if you from around my house. I ain't messing with him. But then now, how they'll do it makes you do the same thing. Well, yeah. that's my own boy, man. He ain't gonna rat on me. Yeah. She you know? is. She and so like when you hear a Rob 49 saying what he's saying, he's saying it because he he he, he repping his he repping his city, you know. He he repping his city. He and can't they, be y'all. I think y'all they they said like they feel like we ain't a part of Louisiana. Yeah. He, he said something based on that too, like they because we so far. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm telling you. See, so it's like right now, what I'm doing, I'm keeping Streetport in the loop, judicially, because we never had nobody to do what I was doing. So when I was in prison, we never had nobody from Streetport that was reaching out, reaching back. That was going trying to talk to the DA. That was going to do things to try to get us out. To keep us connected to the rest of the state. We never had that. So now that I'm doing it, Shreveport is in the game now. And people pay attention to us a lot more now. So that's why you would see dudes from New Orleans that was cool with me would come up here. 
and be like, man, I'm coming. Because dudes from New Orleans ain't leaving New Orleans. They don't like to leave New Orleans. Just like dudes from Shreveport ain't trying to leave from Shreveport neither. Yeah, unless you're going to Texas. But Well, I don't go to, I don't do I don't do Texas yeah. though, because Texas don't like Louisiana. Yeah, but you know, we'll that's where we'll migrate to. Yeah. But see, dudes from New Orleans be like, they love their city so much that they won't they won't leave out their city. But now you'll see them coming up here because this ain't my business, but I just know about it.